we often say that there's, you know, I mean, obviously there's, uh, you know, numerous types of sure. sermons, sure. but we usually narrow it down to three. The three, yeah. Expository, topical, mm-hmm. and textual. Yes, sir. So let me ask you this. Are you able to preach topics if you are an expository preacher? Absolutely, but let me say it this way. I think the, the biggest danger, and not condemning any Bible college because every at least every Bible college I know, they most of them, they put it in that expository preaching, they put it in that category. I don't think you should do that. I don't think expository preaching is a type. I think it's Bible preaching. And, and let, me, let me say it this way. Let me clarify my statement. We understand it, um, in the meeting we're at this week, we heard a great textual message last night. Great to, He just stayed in the text. Excellent message. A topical message is uh, dealing with a topic. Well, what's the best way I can deal with a topic? Well, let's see what the Bible says about it. Let's go to the Bible. Um, many people, there's different sins that you need to deal with, there, especially as a pastor. There's many things you need to, subjects, the day we're living in, we've got to deal with certain things. We, and I hate to deal with politics, but you've got to deal with topics. You've got to deal with abortion. You've got to deal with homosexuality. You've got to deal with these types of sins. So how should I deal with it? Should I just throw my, should I read the verse, the text, and say, here's what God said, and then just give my opinion for the next 30 minutes? Absolutely not. Because my opinion may be good, but it might be wrong. If I'm going to deal with a topic, I can still, I should, I must expound the scriptures. So notice this, if I want to deal with the gospel, there's so many different beliefs, there's so many different denominations, and they believe different about the gospel. How can you believe different about the gospel? There's one gospel. There's one Lord. I'll tell you how. They put their opinion in there. But if I take the topic of the gospel and go to the Bible. So here's how I preach a topic, expounding the topic. I go to the Bible. I find out that topic. And uh, we might deal with this a little bit later. But I preach through paragraphs. The reason I preach through paragraphs of the Bible, and you can do chapters the same way. But I think it's really if the Bible lends itself in the canon of the scriptures, it's best to use a paragraph, because every paragraph has a main thought. That's your message. That's the topic. Where does the Bible say that I shouldn't smoke a cigarette? It doesn't. But I tell you what it does say. If I'm saved, my body's a temple of the Holy Spirit. So if I'm going to deal with those type bodily sins, you know, um, social drinking, that's a big thing these days, um, that types of thing. If I'm going to deal with that, what should I say what the Bible says? Let's go there. Let's see what Paul said about our body being, and then expound that paragraph. And it is amazing. This was what excites me. It is amazing how the Bible will just open itself up. Next thing I know, man, I'm, I'm, we're convicted. We're saying, oh, man, I can't do that anymore. Not because of the preacher said I shouldn't smoke. Not because the preacher said I can't be a social drinker. Because the Bible said my body is a temple. I can't do that no more. You expounded the scriptures, but you dealt with the topic instead of taking the topic and then going to the Bible. Let's go to the Bible and find the topic. And that's how you deal with the topic in expository preaching. 